You are watching a clip from the John Perry channel. Genetics and evolution. Is it true that all mammals only shed teeth once? Ooh, there are exceptions to every rule. Yeah. So the fun exceptions are manatees, dugongs, um, some kangaroo species. Um, and then the opposite side of that scale is sh some types of shrews actually replace their baby teeth. Um, like the tooth starts to grow as a nub mm. in the womb. And then when they come out, they're already like ready to have their adult teeth. So those are the exceptions um, that I know of. I'm sure there's more. But so the manatee is doing it continuously. Yeah, they're kind of because they're kind of closer to elephants, where they have like these teeth at the back that kind of move forward continuously. Because because mm -hmm. elephants also do this. They have this. They have a set number. They don't have just forever continuously regenerating teeth, but they have a set number that slowly move forward. Mm -hmm. as they wear away the front ones. And so there is technically like a conveyor belt, a really slow one <laughs> yeah. uh, of teeth just going forward. Because if you don't have continuous teeth, you starve when you're eating tough stuff. Right. So. And then rodents, you know, rodents, I mean, their front teeth are continually growing. Do they actually mm -hmm. lose them too at a point? Or do they just have that's one set question. that's always... Oh, I don't know. I feel like they must lose their their first step i really don't know i actually don't know they are the weird the weirdest probably well as far as teeth go the weirdest actually i shouldn't say that because we've got things like narwhal there's all sorts of weird teeth out there but yeah uh, mammal, mammals do some weird stuff with their teeth that's for sure after our conversation yara was too curious so she googled it okay it says only one set of teeth their entire life i'm not sure how much i believe that this is ratbehavior.org. So oh. really <laughs> yeah. I mean, it kind of makes sense because even the molars grow forever, right? Because they grind them yeah. constantly. So so yes and no. Um, so molars, they do replace once um, in when they're in, in mice and, and most other um, rodents. I'm just wondering if it's like one of those secret like, oh, they have like a tooth bud that they replace in, in utero. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then the incisor, you know, comes out and it's fine. Um, there are other animals that have like continuously wearing teeth, like horses. Horses yeah. have their teeth are continuously erupting. Have you ever seen those like horse skulls that have the jaw cut? And you can see how long the roots are. No, no. You should Google that. That's crazy. Okay. So they have extremely long roots and their teeth are just continuously moving upwards. And it's that ligament that we were talking about that mm -hmm. keeps like kind of just letting them spring upwards. And they just keep grinding and grinding. And it's not forever, but it's like long enough for a horse that I think the oldest horse is like 60 something and it still mm -hmm. had teeth. So yeah. it's a pretty good system. With horses, instead of having just enamel on the outside, they have enamel like swirled through the middle too, right? Elephants too. Yeah. All these herbivores that need all that extra surface area to um, chew up plant matter, basically. They, their crowns are super like uh, infolded. And mm -hmm. it's that infolding that helps us identify like fossil horses, fossil rhinos, fossil cows, whatever. They all have very distinct interfolding, but mm -hmm. the interfolding is cementum, uh, enamel and dentine. Cementum is just like, like dentine, but it attaches the dentine to bone. Okay. It's, a, it's a very mammalian thing. It's not pretty much, it's, it's not in a whole lot of other animals, but it's really cool. So yeah, they interfold all their teeth and elephants have the same thing. All, a lot of herbivores, mammal, mammalian herbivores have that like interfolding. Yeah. It, it's really neat to look at how, well, you, you can see it really well in, in horses that, that they have the very dis distinct differences between the, the dentine. So the, the, is dentine more like bone? Good question. Uh, I'll answer you after my postdoc. How about that? Because okay. <laughs> that, that's actually something I'm looking at. Uh, okay. Because those early, early fish that have like that bony dermal bone exoskeleton stuff that's covered in dentine. Um, that's one of the questions that I want to ask. Um, basically, are the two tissues related and how and mm -hmm. who invent which one came first, you know, right. the dentine or the bone? <laughs> so yeah. but I, I don't know. The tooth core, like a human tooth, the core is dentine, enamel on the outside. Yep. And horses have that all mixed in there. So there's mm -hmm. little veins. It looks like little veins of yeah. 
enamel inside the the middle of the tooth. But it's interesting because I I've been chewing my nails since I was a kid, and so it actually wore through the uh, God the enamel on your incisors. Yeah. Yeah, on my inc- so yeah, it's it's only one of my incisors that has the enamel worn through, and so now the the dentine is exposed and it just erodes faster than everything else, and yeah. the dentist is like, yeah, you shouldn't do that, <laughs> but <laughs> it's too late now. But it's yeah. it is interesting to see. I actually get to feel in real time, you know, the difference between enamel and dentine, <laughs> and then you see it in horses, you see it in all these other animals that constantly grind their teeth. It's just really neat to be able to see that for them, it's actually kind of an adaptation because the dentine wears down first, makes a groove, and then yeah. the little parts of enamel act as kind of like a a sharp grinding yeah. tool. Yeah, differences so in texture and differences in topology help them chew. Yeah. Yeah. So you've you've come you've almost got a chisel in the middle of a molar. Exactly. <laughs> this, this is how it works out. It's it's just it's, it's so neat. And then. Rodents, of course, they only have enamel on the front and it's dentine on the back. So when they mm-hmm. grind their teeth, it just automatically sharpens. It's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's such an amazing, I mean, I'm always careful of using the word design, but I mean, it is it's such an amazing like adaptation. And then mm-hmm. their, their back teeth are uh, close, depending on which rodent you're looking at. They also, some of them have like some interfolding uh, in their back teeth as well. I think squirrels mm-hmm. do. I could be wrong. But. Yeah, yeah, and then rabbits. Ra- rabbits, I'm pretty sure do. I used to have a rabbit skull. And it, rabbits, it like the it lagomorphs. Yeah, lagomorphs, I mean rabbits yeah. are not true rodents, but but they're pretty much. I mean, for all intents and purposes, when it comes to their teeth, they might as well be uh, ever growing incisors, and then they're they're crazy molars. So, so yeah. yeah. Well, that's it for this clip. But don't worry, I post clips regularly, and every Thursday. I post completely fresh content. Make sure you're subscribed. Liking and commenting is also welcome.